Oh, what's up everybody? I'm outside trying to uh, uh, prepare myself to get rid of a lot of this junk. I got something really, really cool, hopefully, to show you maybe next week. I don't know if it's going to follow through, but there's some interesting things I'll have to show you. I want to show you something though real quick. In the process of uh, getting all this junk out of here, I had this old elliptical machine, whatever it's called, in my garage, my basement actually, I just brought it up here. My neighbors helped me carry it up here. I was going to take it apart and bring the scrap steel to the yard. Um, so, with that said, I thought I'd take it apart. And on my way of taking this apart, I found something very, very interesting. Now, um, especially us in the realm of energy research know that eddy currents are bad for what we are trying to do. That is, what we're trying to get rid of is eddy currents and lens force and all those type of things. We're trying to get rid of that. We don't like it. It causes drag on a system and it's bad for trying to achieve higher efficiencies. Well here's the interesting thing. Um, this machine actually works on eddy currents and lens um, law and that type of thing. I found it fascinating. I haven't ever run across using that as an application for doing good. Well, this machine is designed to slow you down. Um, I have it half torn apart already, so I'm going to go ahead and take a few of these parts off here. And I'll show you what we got. I'll put my safety glasses on because I'm going to break these ends off here. this open. I'm going to show you what we got here. This is fascinating. I'm going to pick up my screws. I'll run over. I have to get new tires on my car. Alrighty. Last one here. I've never seen this used like this. You guys might have seen it somewhere else before. I don't know. I personally have never seen it used this way. Got in this bad boy. Let's check this out. We have ourselves here two things. One is the amount of mass that I've got here. I've got a lot of mass here. This is a steel piece and it is geared down. So when this thing rotates, all right, this wheel gets spinning real fast versus the main wheel. Let me set this down. All right, so let me run this back door. Oh yeah. All right, so when this thing gets to going, there is a solenoid here, and it is tied to a bunch of magnets. All right, that's set against a copper ring. Okay. And what this does is as this moves closer to this copper ring, it actually induces eddy currents in this copper and gives drag. So there's an actual effective way of using lens law or lens force or eddy currents to your advantage on a particular system. And actually I think it would be really wise of me to whack this off right there and right there or even here and there and keep this assembly and use this as an input shaft and actually use this for load testing on particular devices that I plan on building in the future. So that's probably what I'm going to do. I'm going to get the Zolzol out. I'm going to whack this thing in half. The rest can go to the scrapyard. 
I might keep the electronics. What it looks like here, we have just a standard six volt little motor and it just controls this little wheel which pulls this in and out. Matter of fact, this thing might have batteries in it. Uh, maybe not. Probably not. I'm gonna say probably not. Oh wow, look at there. Let's see if we can get it to oh, let's see if we can get it to turn on. Oh well. Hmm, let's see how this works. Nope, it's probably dead. Anyway, you set the resistance right here, so maybe I can take this apart. Simple little DC motor, I could easily do something, change that out real real easily. Anyway, I found that fascinating. Um I I just found that very interesting. I never have seen an application for eddy currents such as this. I'm sure there's many of them out there. I've just never personally seen it. You never want to break something like that, but uh, now of course on the like hybrid cars and stuff like that they use the same effect but coils to generate electricity when you're putting the brake on you actually are applying this type of force on your system to recharge your battery so they use it there but I've never just seen it used in dead weight magnets in a copper ring fantastic so anyway it's uh, Sunday uh, in between my two services running lights we're gonna go dig up the front yard and put some flowers in me and my wife she's got like three weeks or less left of being pregnant yeah so she'll probably watch a little more than she'll be working she's crazy anyway fascinating hope you guys enjoy it peace out guys I guess I should give my website my name's Russ rwgresearch.com is my website see you have a good day